in this video we are going to deal with the second part the second part of AC circuits that is three phase systems till now we have dealt with already single phase system okay now in the continuing lectures we will have three phase systems only okay so in this lecture we will be discussing about first point what is basically a three phase system second one a three phase wave third one three phase phase diagram okay these are the topics in this lecture okay now polyphase system okay what is meant about polyphase system a system which has more than one phase is known as polyphase system okay if a system has more than one phase it is known as polyphase system okay now each phase having a single alternating voltage of equal magnitude and frequency but displaced from one another by equal electrical angle okay now see here in the case of a polyphase system one system has more than one AC waves coming in okay the major condition is that they should have equal magnitude and equal frequency but they will be displaced by a phase that is if you have if uh, suppose if you are considering an example of a polyphase system having say three or four phases one will be starting from zero degree another will be starting from say some five degree another wave will be starting from some other degree like that okay so actually what happens is that there is a phase difference between each between each say this is v1 v2 and v3 okay so there is a phase difference between v1 and v2 there is a phase difference between v1 and v2 okay so that the phase difference between v1 and v2 be phi1 and that the phase difference between v2 and v3 be phi2 so here what we have is two phase difference here actually we have three phase differences first one is phase difference between v1 and v2 is phi1 phase difference between v2 and v3 is phi2 and phase difference between v1 and v3 is phi1 plus okay now see one more condition is that in in the case of a polyphase system this uh, the phase angle should be equal electrical angle that means phi 1 should be equal to phi 2 okay in this case you can you can answer phi 1 should be equal to phi 2 okay now going to the next part coming to what is single phase system in a single phase system we have only one AC voltage now what is a two phase system a two phase system two AC voltages are displaced by an angle 90 degree that means one AC wave will start at 0 degree the next one will start at 90 degree then three phase system in the case of a three phase system three AC voltages are there and each one is displaced by an angle 120 degree there will be V1 V2 and V3 phase difference between v1 and v2 will be 120 degree phase difference between v2 and v3 will be again 120 degree that means phase difference between v1 and v3 is 120 plus 120 that is 240 degrees okay now what is the advantage of three phase system first one now see you have heard about generators okay in the case of a generator for a three phase generator it has more output compared to a single phase generator why here we are having three phases therefore the output from each phase will sum up therefore the power derived by the generator in three phase is three times the power derived by single phase generator okay now second point is three phase generators work in parallel without any difficulty okay now third one whereas in the case of single phase generators synchronization Okay, synchronization means you have to you have to basically synchronization means you have to adjust the amplitude and frequency okay amplitude frequency and phase difference okay in the case of single phase generators adjusting these three parameters amplitude phase difference and frequency is a tough task whereas in the case of a three phase system synchronism 
can be made very easily. That is why what we can say three phase generators work in parallel without any difficulty. Third one, three phase motors produce uniform torque. Whereas in the case of single phase motors, to produce a torque we need to split that phase into two. Okay, that is a classical example of a single phase motor is our motor of the fan. Motor of the fan. This is it is basically a single phase single phase motor. But the thing is that we are, we have to split the phase split the incoming one phase into two phases. Okay. To get rotatory action, you, you should have two phases in minimum. Fourth point, three phase induction motors are self starting. There are single phase induction motors are not self starting. Okay. So in in the scope of this picture, that self starting portion is not there. Okay. Now Fifth point, three phase transmission line requires lesser amount of conductor material compared to a single phase conductor. Okay. Sixth one, three phase induction motors are smaller and cheaper compared to single phase motors. That means the bulkiness of three phase induction motor will be comparatively less, whereas power output is more. And it and the and three phase induction motors can perform more work compared to single phase induction motors. Okay, these all are with uh, the advantages of the three phase system generally are concerned with the application side. Okay, now in, in the scope of this basic electrical engineering, we need to step, we need to only list these advantages of three phase system. No need to go into the deeper version, deeper of these six advantages that uh, if you are having, if you are, uh, if you are in any of the electrical branches or even mechanical branch, then you can uh, you can study in, uh, study it in your higher semesters. Okay. Now this lecture is basically or this subject is basically intended to first year only. Okay. Now coming to generation of three phase AC voltage. Now see how to generate a three phase AC voltage. In the case of single to generate a single phase AC voltage, you need only one coil and slip ring. Here to generate three phase AC voltage. Again, the in the case of three phase AC voltage, each phase should be displaced by an angle 120 degree. You need three coils. Okay, the three identical coils which is displaced by an by 120 degree from each other and it is rotated in a uniform magnetic field. That means from zero degree you will get one voltage. From 120 degree you will get another voltage. From uh, 240 degree you will get the third voltage. Okay. Now, here we are considering three windings, okay, RR1, YY1, and BB1, which is displaced by an angle 120 degree. Here we have RR1, BB1, and YY1. R is one end of the coil, and R1 is the other end of the coil. B is, the, B is one end of the coil, B1 is the other end of the coil. Similarly, Y is one end of the coil, and Y1 is on the other end of the coil. And if you are looking to this one, we can see that the angle between R and Y is 120 degree. The angle between R and Y is 120 degree. Similarly, the angle between Y and B is again 120 degree. Also, again, you can see that the angle between B and R is 120 degree. Okay, that means here R and R and R1 are the front end and back end of the coil. And actually, the conductor is lying perpendicular to the plane of the screen. Okay. So the conductor R is perpendicular to the plane of the screen, and the conductor R1 is also again perpendicular to the perpendicular to the screen. Okay. Now, now since the now if if it starts rotating, what happens is that the angle difference between voltages induced in coil R R1, coil Y Y1, coil B B1 will be displaced by an angle. 120 degree, 120 degree with respect to each other. Okay, that means if R is starting at zero degree, Y will be starting at 120 degree. Then B will be starting at 120 plus 120. That is 240 degree. Okay. Or in general, what you can say is that if R is considered as as a reference, R will be starting at an angle zero degree. Y will be starting after 120 degree. B will be starting after 240 degree. That means we can write the equations as ER is equal to 
that means in R phase. Here you are having uh, three phases. I am calling it as red, yellow, and blue. In the case of red phase, ER is equal to EM sin omega t. That means that phase is starting at 0 degree. Next one is Y phase or yellow phase. That is EM sin omega t minus 120 degree. That is Y phase starts after 120 degree compared to R. Next one is B phase. What is B phase? B phase comes only, now reference is R phase, therefore EB is EM sin omega t minus 120. Omega t minus 120 is equivalent to EM sin omega t plus 120. Okay. Similarly, EM sin omega t minus 120 is same as EM sin omega t plus 240. Okay. Here we have, to, if, if, you are, if you are getting the angle as negative, the, then the angle should be, then angles with respect to R should be taken in clockwise directions. Whereas, if you are getting the angle as positive, then angle with respect to R should be taken as positive. Okay. Understood? That means, if it is uh, EM sin omega t minus 120 degree, then you should you should count in clockwise direction. If it is EM sin omega t plus 120 degree, that means plus, you have to go in counter clockwise direction. Now, if you are looking to, if you are looking to B phase, you can see that, you have to, you can move in counterclockwise direction at 120 degree. Therefore, EB you can write it as EM sin omega t plus 120 degree, provided R phase is the reference. Similarly, in the case of Y phase, you have to move in the clockwise direction. So, you can write it as EM sin omega t minus 120 degree. Or, if you want to write Y phase in counterclockwise direction, you can write it as, if you, have, if you need to uh, write in counterclockwise direction, you can write it as, EM sin omega t plus 240 degree plus 240 degree that is why that means if you are looking to the uh, counterclockwise direction you can see that the angle difference between R and Y is 120 plus 120 that gives 240 ok similarly for the E for the B phase also. Okay. Now going to the going to the B forms. Now see we can see R phase. R phase is starting at R phase is starting at zero degree. Okay. And it is basically a sine wave. Okay. Now let it magnitude I am taking the magnitude as V phase or uh, say some V. Okay. Now, at 90 degree, R phase reaches maximum. At 180 degree, R phase reaches zero. At uh, 270 degree, again, R phase reaches negative maximum. And 360 degree, it reaches zero. Now, coming to Y phase. Coming to Y phase. Y phase starts only, uh, y phase starts only, only after 120 degree. This angle is 120 degree. That means, if you need to complete the 120 degree, that means it, it reaches the maximum at 120 plus 90. That is, this angle is 210 degree. That angle is 210 degree. That is 2, 1, 0. At 210 degree, it reaches maximum. Then what is 210? Uh, 120 plus 90 is 210. Then what is 210 plus 90? 210 plus 90 is 300. That means this angle is 300 degree. At 300 degree, it reaches 0. 300 plus 90. And this at 390 degree. At 390 degree, it reaches 90 maximum. Now, now, if you need to complete the R uh, or complete the Y phase, 120 minus 90. What is 120? What is 120 minus 90? 120 minus 90 is 30 degree. That means at 30 degree, it should reach 90 maximum. At 30 degree, it should reach. 90 maximum and then it should go similar to y phase okay so if it happens you have to complete like this okay hope you have understood the y phase now coming to what is b phase coming to what is blue phase in the case of blue phase it is starting at 240 degree it is starting at 240 degree now, at what point it reaches maximum? At, at what point it reaches maximum is 240 plus 90. What is 240 plus 90? 240 plus 90 is uh, 350. 240 plus 90 is 330. It reaches maximum at 330 
degree and then it comes now. Now, what is 240 minus 90? 240 minus 90 is 150. That means at 150 degree it reaches 90 maximum. At 150 degree it reaches 90 maximum. Now, what is 150 minus 90? 150 minus 90 is 60. That means at 60 degree it reaches at 60 degree it reaches 0. Now, if you need, then you complete the wave. That means your B phase will be completing your blue phase will be complete will be completed like this. Okay. Hope you have understood the concept of. Uh, uh, hope you have understood how you, how to draw the three phase vector diagram. Okay. That means zero degree. From zero degree, you start with R phase, not normal sine wave. Then at one twenty degree, you draw normal sine wave for Y. And at 240 degree, you draw no at uh, you draw normal sine wave for B. Okay, and then you extend the curve based on based on sine axis. Okay, based on y. Okay, so with that, I am ending with the concept of pre how to draw the preface waveform. Now, next part is the last part of this lecture. That is how to draw the phase of diagram. How to draw the phase diagram and how to find out the phase sequence. Now, see, as already mentioned in the in the previous slide, see red phase. Red phase is at red phase is at zero degree. Red phase is starting at zero degree. So this difference is zero degree. Yellow phase is starting at minus one twenty degree. Minus one twenty degree means you have to travel in the clockwise direction. So at my at one twenty at minus one twenty degree, you will get the yellow phase. This is minus one twenty degree. Okay. Then with respect to R at minus two forty or with respect to yellow at minus one twenty, you will get blue. Okay. That means this angle is with respect to zero degree. This angle is minus two forty degree or or it is it is also equal to plus. What is also equal to plus one twenty degree. Okay. Now, if you are rotating this vector, say I am taking a point X. If I am rotating this phase diagram in the in the counterclockwise direction, which comes first? Rot phase comes first. Then after one twenty degree, yellow phase comes. Then after two forty degree, blue phase blue phase crosses the point X. Okay. Hope you have understood how to draw the phase diagram of a three-phase system. Okay, that means basically, basically in the three-phase system you have red phase, yellow phase, and blue phase, and each phase is displaced by an angle 120 degree. Red is starting at zero degree, yellow is starting after 120 degree. That is at minus 120 degree. Then blue is starting after 240 degree with respect to red. Or at an angle 120 degree with respect to yellow. Okay. Now, next one is phase sequence. Phase sequence is defined as the order in which the voltage in the three phase of an alternate or, or in of an alternator reaches their maximum positive value. That means if I am in, I can you know, I can connect in this form. I can connect like R first R phase, then yellow phase, then blue phase. Okay, if that is the case, this will be the phase of diagram. Okay, that means initially red will come, then yellow will come. If with respect to the point X, uh, rotating in the counterclockwise direction, first red will come, then yellow will come, then blue will come. Similarly, if you are if you are drawing in R B Y, if I am cutting in R B Y phase, what happens is that R B Y means you have to you have to you have to rotate the uh, phase of diagram in in the clockwise direction and the point X is here. So which comes first? R comes first, then after that blue, then comes yellow. Okay. That means that means you can that means you can reverse the direction of rotation of the phaser by just varying the phase sequence. Okay. So hope you understood phase sequence. So phase sequence is basically if you are the order in which the voltage in the three phases of an alternator reach the maximum positive value. That is, suppose I am considering a point X here 
and if I am rotating in in the it, uh, um, if I am rotating in the clockwise direction, which will come first? Red will come first, then red will come first, then yellow, then blue. Then in this case, R by B is the phase sequence. Now, if I if I if I am interchanging the phases like R, B, and Y, then what happens is that if you need to get that phase sequence comes to the point edge here and rotate the phase diagram in the clockwise direction, then you will get red. After 120 degree, you will get blue. Then after 120 degree, you will get yellow phase. Okay. Now, in some textbooks, or you can uh, you can regard Y phase as X phase, blue phase as Y phase. Yellow phase as is a phase, or in reverse direction, H, Y, is an in any way. Okay. Now, generally, if you are if you are looking to any three phase transformer, you can see that yellow phase is marked as W, Y phase is marked as V, and blue phase is marked as W. Okay. So there are different types of notations for this three phase. It can be R, Y, B, X, Y, Z. Or even W V sorry sorry it is red is U it is U V W can be U V W red is U can be U V W okay hope you have understood what is meant by phase sequence okay so in this lecture what I have uh, what I have mentioned is I will brief it again we have started from what is meant by polyphase system okay then come then compare it single phase and uh, three phase systems then went with the advantages of three phase system then we have drawn the phase diagram of a three phase system that means R phase will be starting at 0 degree Y phase will be starting at 120 degree B phase will be starting at 240 degree okay or you can say that Y phase will be starting after 120 degree with respect to R and B phase will be starting after 240 degree with respect to R Okay, and we have drawn the phase diagram of the of the waveform of the waveforms. Then, uh, then we have came to phase sequence or phase order. Okay, that means it is basically it is basically on the rotation of phases or how the or how the uh, connections are made in the case of a three phase alternator. Okay, three phase alternator alternator is also known as generator. Okay, three phase generator is also known as three phase alternator. So with that, I am ending with this session. Okay, hope you are clear with the concept of. Uh, uh, hope you are clear with the uh, clear with the initial concept of three phase. Okay, so with that, so with that, I am ending this video, and thank you. Please like the video, and subscribe the channel. Okay, thank you.